New images of 3i Atlas have revealed something truly unexpected, something no astronomer has ever seen before. It has now been four months since this interstellar comet was first discovered, and in that short time, it has gone from a distant curiosity to one of the most puzzling objects humanity has ever observed. The biggest question is no longer where did it come from, it's now what is this thing really? In this video, we're going to explore four strange discoveries made about 3i Atlas, discoveries that have only deepened its mystery. Each one challenges what we think we know about comets, interstellar space, and the very laws of the universe itself. The first sign that 3i Atlas is no ordinary comet came from its sheer scale. Early Hubble measurements suggested a nucleus up to 5.6 kilometers wide, roughly the size of Manhattan. But size alone wasn't the shock, it was the mass. Using precision data from the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists calculated that the comet must have a minimum mass of 33 billion tons. That makes it at least a thousand times more massive than the first two interstellar visitors, Oumuamua and Borisov combined. Scientists didn't discover this by measuring the mass directly, they figured it out observing what the comet wasn't doing. As a comet approaches the sun, its ices vaporize and erupt as jets, a process called outgassing. Those jets act like tiny thrusters, pushing the comet slightly off course. Astronomers call this a non-gravitational acceleration, and we see it in almost every active comet. And 3i Atlas is outgassing heavily. Jets everywhere with a wildly active coma. Yet its orbit is perfectly governed by gravity. There was not a single detectable wobble. The only way for such powerful jets to have no measurable effect on its path was if the object possessed immense inertia. The lack of this recoil effect forced scientists to conclude its mass had to be at least 33 billion tons, and that's where the paradox began. According to our models of how planetary systems form, small objects are far more likely to be ejected into interstellar space than large ones. That's why the first two interstellar visitors were tiny. They fit the theory. But discovering a supermassive comet like 3i Atlas, perfectly aligned within just 5 degrees of the solar system's orbital plane, is statistically weird. To some scientists, this combination of huge mass and an unusually precise entry path was the first subtle hint that 3i Atlas's arrival may not have been a coincidence. If its mass was the first surprise, its appearance was the second. By comet standards, 3i Atlas was misbehaving. Comets are famous for their tails, and no matter where they come from, their tails always point away from the sun, pushed back by solar wind and radiation pressure. That's Cometary Physics 101. But when astronomers captured early high-resolution images using the Hubble Space Telescope, and the 2-meter twin telescope, they were stunned to see something else. A bright, well-defined jet of material pointing directly toward the sun. At first, scientists wondered, could this be an anti-tail? A known optical illusion caused by the way Earth sometimes views a comet's dust trail edge on. But this wasn't an illusion. Further analysis showed this was a real physical tendril a plume of gas and dust extended into the sun's glare, defying every textbook rule. It was a flagrant violation of cometary behavior, an impossible tale that raised far more questions than answers. Then in early October, the mystery deepened. New images from the Nordic Optical Telescope showed that the bizarre sunward jet had vanished. In its place, 3i Atlas now had a conventional tail, streaming away from the sun, just like any normal comet. So what happened? The leading explanation suggests 
that 3i Atlas is far more complex than any comet we've seen. The early sunward plume was likely made of very large, heavy dust particles, each around 100 micrometers wide. These grains were too massive to be pushed by sunlight when the comet was still far from the sun, so they simply fanned forward in the direction of travel, creating a forward-facing plume. But as the comet plunged deeper into the inner solar system, sunlight grew stronger, eventually gaining enough pressure to shove even these sluggish particles backward, reshaping the plume into a traditional tail. This wasn't just a visual transformation, it was a clue, pointing to a layered, chemically diverse object, made of materials that respond to solar energy on different timescales. 3i Atlas wasn't simply a dirty snowball, it was something far more intricate. The most important sign that 3i Atlas had an alien chemistry came from the comet's water controversy. In July and August, NASA's Swift Observatory delivered a stunning announcement. Using ultraviolet observations, a team detected hydroxyl, a telltale byproduct of water molecules breaking apart in sunlight. Their analysis suggested that 3i Atlas was shedding water at a rate of 40 kilograms per second, the equivalent of a fire hose blasting in deep space. It was an astonishing claim because at that time, the comet was still three times farther from the sun than Earth, a region so cold that surface water ice should remain lock solid. The findings suggested something rare. Sunlight might have been heating tiny ice grains already ejected from the comet's surface, causing them to release water vapor far from the sun. It painted a picture of a uniquely water-rich interstellar traveler. But just as this narrative took shape, it collapsed. In the same month, NASA's Spherax Space Observatory looked at the comet using infrared light and found no significant water cloud at all. In fact, it placed an upper limit on water loss at just 4.5 kilograms per second, nearly 10 times lower than what Swift had claimed. Instead, Spherax saw something else. It detected an enormous glowing coma of carbon dioxide, with the comet sublimating the compound at a furious rate of 70 kilograms per second. Later, the James Webb Telescope confirmed this. 3i Atlas had a carbon dioxide to water ratio of 8 to 1, among the highest ever recorded in any comet, solar or interstellar. The two datasets clashed. Was one of the telescopes simply wrong? Two space telescopes, two completely different stories. It was a reminder that even in science, just like in news, the truth depends on where you're looking and how closely. Most of us only see a narrow slice of reality, shaped by the outlets we follow and the region we live in. And when it comes to science news, it gets even trickier. Headlines are often exaggerated or oversimplified to get clicks. That's why I use Ground News. It's a platform that helps you cut through bias and hype by comparing how different media outlets are covering the same story. It shows you political slant, headline framing, and even what stories you might be missing entirely. For example, when this new discovery broke, I used Ground News to ensure I was reading balanced, credible coverage. I could instantly see that the bias distribution was nearly equal and check each outlet's factuality rating, verified by three independent organizations. And here's something cool. The founder of Ground News is a former NASA engineer, so you'll find a strong foundation for trustworthy science coverage too. My favorite feature, the blind spot. It highlights stories that are disproportionately covered by one side of the political spectrum. So you're always aware of what your feed might be leaving out. If you're only interested in topics like science, the interest pages filter out the noise and show you only what matters to you. There's a special offer for viewers of this channel. For limited time, you can subscribe and get 40% off the Unlimited Access Vantage plan by scanning this QR code on screen or heading to ground.news forward slash SOU. The link is also in the description. 
Now back to the comet's water controversy. As debate swirled in October, a more nuanced explanation emerged. Swift had detected hydroxyl, an indirect but highly sensitive signature of water vapor breaking apart. Spherax and Webb, on the other hand, had measured the actual infrared glow of carbon dioxide and water molecules, a more direct method. The leading theory? Both were correct, just looking at different moments in the comet's evolving activity. The fire hose of water Swift saw may have been a brief outburst, a sudden release of water from ejected ice grains. Meanwhile, the true driving force behind the comet's activity all along was carbon dioxide. So 3i Atlas wasn't simply wet or dry. It was a carbon dioxide dominated alien body that had a strange powerful way of releasing water where no ordinary comet should. Another layer of weirdness, another rule rewritten. The most provocative clue about 3i Atlas didn't come from its size, its tail, or its strange behavior. It came from its chemistry. Using the Keck telescope in Hawaii, astronomers dissected the light coming from the comet's coma and found something unprecedented. A strong spectral signature of atomic nickel with virtually no iron. In every known natural object in our solar system, comets, asteroids, moons, planets, nickel and iron always appear together. They are forged side by side in the hearts of dying stars and they condense together into solid minerals. The ratio may vary, but the two metals are inseparable. Until now, a pure nickel signal without iron was, from an astronomical perspective, deeply unnatural. And that's when Harvard physicist Avi Loeb put forward his boldest hypothesis yet. He noted that this exact kind of iron-free nickel signature is a known byproduct of industrial processing on Earth. Specifically, the carbonyl refining process used to purify nickel produces a compound called nickel tetracarbonyl, a highly volatile molecule that breaks down in sunlight, releasing pure nickel atoms. For him, this wasn't just strange chemistry, it was potentially a technological fingerprint, a hint that 3i Atlas might not be entirely natural. Other scientists scrambled to find natural explanations. Perhaps a similar carbonyl reaction could occur naturally under specific conditions near the comet's surface. Or maybe the nickel came from a previously unknown metal-bearing molecule. But the mystery deepened. The ratio of nickel to cyanide, another compound commonly seen in comets, was found to be orders of magnitude higher than anything observed before. This wasn't just unusual, it was off the charts. Whatever the cause, one thing was clear. The chemical signature of 3i Atlas doesn't match anything we've seen in our solar system. It's a message from an alien environment, formed in a star system with a very different recipe for building worlds. And whether natural or not, it challenges our assumptions about what's possible in astrochemistry. This isn't just another comet, it's a comet unlike any other. With the upcoming full sky survey by the Verici Rubin Observatory, we're on the verge of discovering many more interstellar objects passing through our solar system, perhaps dozens, maybe hundreds. And with a larger catalog, we'll begin to uncover patterns, origins, and possibly even entirely new classes of comic visitors. Each one will carry clues, not just about its journey, but about how other worlds form across the galaxy. 3i Atlas may be the strangest we've seen so far, but it certainly won't be the last. So thanks for watching, and thanks to Ground News for sponsoring this video. If you're tired of clickbait headlines and just want the real story, especially in science, scan this QR code or head to the link ground.news forward slash SOU given in the description you'll get 40% off the Vantage plan and finally see the news like you see the universe clearly.